guys, so welcome back, back to, to my, my channel. channel. Yeah, so yeah, I'm at the hospital. Oh my god, I'm so emotional. No, she's connected to the machine. So, what's going on, baby? So, what's happening is okay, so we came because I was leaking something and then they ended up checking me <laughs> they ended up checking me and it was not my um water breaking but then how much like how many minutes are we in like 30 yeah maybe like 30 minutes later they checked me again and then i had dilated dilated to a five and i was like Okay, and then, hold on, what? And then, yeah, they had to connect her up to the machines. They had to put an IV. They had to take blood samples and all that. And, yeah, now we're stuck here for, like, oh. two days. And s they wanted to see if I would dilate by myself, like, more for, for like, four hours. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. Well, I'm at a five, six. That's what she said. Yeah, she's, like, in between a five... Five, five and six centimeters. So then they started me on Pitocin. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Some, some, something like that, guys. Something like that. Yeah, so then they had, to, they had to put that thing. It should be, I think, a little small one right there. This one right here. And that's supposed to give her more contractions. Pretty much, right? Yeah, they're supposed to make them stronger and closer together. And, well, right now, I'm not feeling nothing, but they said that every 20, I don't know, every 30 minutes, they're going to come and raise it up, so it, they're going to get stronger. Yep. And that's what we're waiting on right now, and I've been trying to take a nap, but I can't. Because she needs to go pee, like, every five minutes. Yeah, and I'm very hungry. And Me too. I have this hoodie on, because I was trying to sleep, but... I can't. Yeah, they, they keep saying they're cold and it's fucking hot in here. Like, I'm hot. And they keep saying they're cold. <laughs> and, um, he keeps on wanting chips. Yeah. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, I can't eat until I give birth. Yeah, she can only drink water. And water, I jello, ice cream. No, not ice cream. Like popsicles, popsicles and all that. And the reason I'm talking low is because my mom's here. Yeah, she's, she's over there. She's sleeping. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna go see my camera. I'm sorry. But yeah, we'll keep you guys updated with things, okay? Alright. Well, guys. So, they came to put the, <laughs> the tubs in higher. So. Now I'm at four. The whatever that thing, how do you call it? Like the little motor thing? Yeah, the little, little motor. motor. actually starting to hurt a little bit more now and I'm barely at a four and I think it's 220 you're crying by then huh? I'll be crying don't cry it's gonna be okay right? <laughs> and I'm very hungry me too Still. and it's already turning daytime yeah like the one thing yeah, I've noticed like, yeah they're like super dirty it's like <laughs> <laughs> My stomach keeps on getting really, really tight. It's a big old belly. Yep, this is my belly right here. Big belly. Yeah. <laughs> and the contractions are over.
old. I'm having a contraction right now. Oh my god. that we need to take a big shit. <laughs> I guess like a big car. But, uh, I don't know what I think. I think but it's still there kinda. Okay. Shit it's up there. Hold on, let me show you guys. I think it's fucking it's big. Me luck. <laughs> <laughs> Even though by the time the video is up, I'm already gonna have it. But I'm hoping everything goes well. But I know I'm gonna be dying next clip. Bye! We'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, update. Okay, okay, guys. guys. So we're gonna be doing a voiceover for this part because someone forgot to turn on the mic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think what I was saying right here was that they put up my Pitocin to six, as you can see. It got up to six. a six. Yep. I mean, you can't really see. That's a six. Oh That's wait, yeah, it's right there. It's a six. six. So uh, yeah, I went up to six, and then we were just waiting. I was getting stronger contractions. Already, I look tired. Yeah, yep. we were up all night. And there I am getting a little contraction. Yeah, we didn't sleep at all the whole night. At least I didn't. And then, we're, yeah, we're showing you the contractions right there, which are the green ones. <laughs> so, that's telling you how strong they were. They were. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting. Okay, now he zoomed into my face. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, your eyes. I was just. Yeah. yeah, but this was like a few, like Honestly. few hours, maybe a few minutes before I, feel I gave yeah. birth. I think it was about an hour before you give But I'm ready. Half an hour at least or something. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. that's everything we have. Like for right now. That's all the information we have. Yeah. Well, she said she was going to come back in like in 15 minutes, I think. Because they're going to switch um, ships now. And yeah, we're going to have a new nurse. We'll keep you guys updated.
All right, so here's our daughter. She was born um, at 8.33 8 a.m. in the morning, you know. July 29, 2020, of course. Yeah. And she weighs 7 pounds, 12 ounces. And there she was. Cleaning her up. Trying to take her temperature and her measurements. She was crying quite a bit during this whole process. We're sorry, we couldn't record. <laughs> yeah, our camera died and I was I had to watch and all that stuff. And then there's me holding her. It's our first bath. Yeah, she got that later that night. She was crying too. But she really liked it when they combed her hair. Yeah. Or brushed her. Okay, hair. hey guys. So we're making a separate yeah, video to explain to you guys like how everything happened and just the whole process of it. So it was. This is us. When was it? The day we went to the hospital. When we went. It was almost midnight. It was, it was like the twenty eighth. The we were there up until the 29th in the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um. July 28th, it was around, what time was it? Almost midnight? Almost, yeah. almost midnight. That, well, I was, like, leaking some watery stuff. And in my previous appointment, he had told, my doctor had told me that I had a little bit of an infection. So, I thought it was because of that. So, I decided to tell my mom, you know, and then my mom wanted to take me to the hospital. But I didn't want to go to the hospital because usually other times that I went to the hospital, like, there's nothing wrong and everything looks fine. So I was like, okay, well, they're going to tell me everything's fine. Just send me home. So I didn't want to go. But my mom was like, no, we should go and all that stuff. So we ended up going. <clears throat> and so when I got there, they checked me. And I was four centimeters Dilated, dilated, which I had already been at four centimeters for like two weeks, so I didn't really think much of it. And then, um, they took out what? What else did they take out? I had to leave uh, a urine test, and then they checked, like they swapped me. They took out blood too. I think they did. They did. Yeah, yeah, to see if I did have an infection and all this stuff. <clears throat> And then, so, yeah, we were just waiting there for them to bring, like, the results back. And then, um, they were going to send me home already God, after, like, a, like, how many hours? Like, an hour or so? What? Like, after they did all of that, they were going to send me home. Yeah, I think. Like, maybe, like, an hour or two. We were there for, for like, an hour. Hey, stop it. Yeah, for, like, an hour. And then before they were going to let me go home, they wanted to check me one more time. So they ended up checking me, and I had moved up to five centimeters. So then they were like, "Hey, you're gonna have to stay, and you're probably gonna have a baby." Yeah, so you're we gonna stayed. have a baby. And keep in mind, we weren't ready for. We none were of not that. ready for any of this. We literally only went for to check if she had yeah. the infection or not. And we were like, "Okay." And then this was like, "You're having your baby," and I was like, "I was so ready to go home already because I was tired." Not really. Actually, it wasn't. I wasn't tired. I no, was yeah, wide awake. You were just ready to come play. Yeah, I was fucking ready to start cause playing. Because you didn't cause, play the whole day. Yeah. And, and I was then, like, okay, cool. We're going home. And then, like, oh, yeah. you're having a baby? I was like... like. And then, like, we didn't have anything. Like, we didn't have our bags in the car. We didn't have nothing. We didn't have the car seat or anything. We, we didn't like, have the car seat, like, in, like, installed. So it was just kind of like, what the hell? Like, I'm gonna have a baby, and then I was so like I was happy, like I was happy because obviously when you're pregnant, you just want to like be done, you, just you know. Be done it. Especially because <laughs> I'm tiny, like I'm really tiny, and my belly was so huge, that, like I couldn't even get comfortable no more. I mean, I'm pretty sure every pregnant woman goes through that, but I was just over it, and I really like just wanted to have her ready because I was tired. <clears throat> I couldn't sleep good no more. I couldn't sleep on my stomach. <laughs> nothing and like so yeah i missed all of that so i was so happy when they told me <clears throat> but also nervous like i i was nervous obviously for it to happen and i was like oh my god how am i gonna deal with all the pain because my plan was to do no medication <clears throat> so that that happened and i was just nervous about it 
Okay, well, anyways, when they told me I was five centimeters, um, my bloody, sh I guess it's called the bloody show. The bloody show. It's like when you bleed, <laughs> I guess, through there. And I don't know, that means like the birth is coming or something like that. I, I'm really like you're not. thinning out. Um, yeah, that. Um, okay, so that happened. And then they, yeah. they gave me four hours. To, to open on her own. To see how much I would open on my own. And so during those four hours, I did not open no more. I stayed at five. Yep, oh, I'm yeah. still at a five. And um, they were like, okay, well, we're going to have to start you on that medication, which is Pitocin, which is which, what I mentioned before. Which is what causes the pain. It doesn't take pain. It causes it. It causes pain it makes to you come. Get contractions. Stronger and closer together. Yeah. And she explained to me how it worked and that it only went up to 20. Like, I don't know how to like explain the, it. I like, the level. Something, they 20. said something about CC, so I think they were talking about that cubic centimeter. Well. I don't, I don't even fucking know. know. I, yeah, I don't know. She just said it goes up to 20. Now, obviously, not every everyone goes to 20. Like, if you start freaking opening at 10 or whatever before 20 then yeah so when they put me on that they started off with a two and then that it wasn't so bad but i did start feeling a little bit of pain but it was like not like um like painful it was just like a little like sharp pain that you felt and then they would come change it every 30 minutes i believe it was 30 minutes they would come and move it up yeah they so moved then it up by two. two yeah they moved it up by two so then like, after 30 minutes, she came, she moved up to a four. And then, obviously, I started getting closer and stronger together. And then around probably, like, seven in the morning is when I was already, like, at, they, they had put the Pitocin at 10. And then that's when I started, like, cry, like crying, I guess, because yeah, of the pain. You, you cried. You cried. Yeah, you I cried because cry. of the pain. But I wasn't crying, like, ah, like, I wasn't yelling. I was, I, I was just tearing. And then um, he was trying to calm me down throughout the contractions and stuff, but I was telling him to be quiet. And then, yeah, it was because, like, at the moment, like, you know, all that pain. and Like, I, I'm i thankful that he was there and he was trying to support me through the pain and everything. But, you know, that's just what happens when you're in labor and when you're having contractions. You don't want to hear nothing. And then I was also hungry, and they gave me ice. That's it. They gave me ice. Little fucking ice things, bro. Yeah, they're like, "Do you want ice chips?" I was like, "Sure, why not?" I was hungry. I wanted something, um, but Water. I could, <laughs> but I couldn't even finish that because of the pain, and I was on top of a, a yoga birthing, ball, yeah, birth the ball. ball. So, um, when I think this, that helped you open up as well, because you were yeah. you were you were doing the little hip circles and everything. So I think that helped you open open up even quicker. Like when I was getting the contractions, I got off the bed because I didn't I didn't want to be laying down. Like it felt like it was more painful laying down than sitting on the ball. So for you guys who are pregnant, I recommend that. Um. Okay. So then after that, um, they laid me back down on the bed because they wanted to see how much I had opened already, and I had opened how much? So seven. What are you telling them? They broke your water and everything? No, You opened yet. up to a seven. Okay, well, you. I kind of, I skipped that part. <laughs> yeah, so sure. they kept checking me um, to see how much I had opened. And then the second time they, op they, they opened, <laughs> they checked me. I had opened to a seven. So obviously they still had to keep going with the Pitocin. <clears throat> and but then, they broke your water. Yeah, they ended up breaking my water at, at a seven. That was about yeah. Right, seven, you were at seven. seven and eight. You were at you were at a seven when they checked. Like okay, you're at a seven, but we're gonna open. You're gonna, we're gonna break your water so that it can go even quicker. But just know this is gonna be more intense. You're like okay, they broke her yeah, water. She started know. getting the contractions and, and like the more intense was like, like thirty seconds right yeah, after. Yeah, thirty seconds after. And the then opening after broke that, my water. she was like, I feel like I need to push her. And then I'm like, dude, it's only been about a minute since your water been broken, and she was already like. I was already yelling like at the everything. nurse because I really felt like the urge to push already and i was like i need to push i need to push and the nurse was like 
do you really feel like pushing and i was like yes like i was so pissed and then, like, <laughs> she was getting mad. i was getting i was so getting mad. bothered too because then the doctor that was supposed to de- deliver the baby she comes in with this fucking just with her sweet old time just walking in and all over she's yeah. over here i need a push i feel like i need a push and she's like okay okay we hear you we're gonna get her stuff ready and then over here putting on their gloves with their sweet ass time and shit and i'm like and then like when when you're ready to give birth when like your body is ready it literally starts pushing on its own so my body started pushing on its own and they um the doctor wanted to check me if i was already ready like if i was already my uh, 10 centimeters like (coughs) dilated and she checked me and she's like okay yeah you're ready and then she's like, but I need to get my stuff on and all this stuff. And I was like, I was so mad because, like, I'm telling her, like, I need to push. I need to push. I couldn't, like, keep it in no more. Like, I couldn't just stop freaking holding. No, I mean, like, I couldn't hold it in anymore. She so needed to get the baby out. I needed to get the baby out. And then, so my body was just, like, pushing on its own. I was like, <gasps> like, you know, pushing so hard. And then um, it was painful. I had no medications. But, like, what is it in called? That gas mask? Oh, the nitrous. The yeah, nitrous they, they were yeah. like, um, do you do you want to try this and all this stuff? And then since the pain was, like, really, really strong, I was like, like, sure, like, why not? Like, I wanted to try it. But I only tried it for one contraction, and then I didn't, I did not like it. Because it gets you dizzy. And then, like, imagine feeling dizzy and then all this pain. And then, yeah, it was just not a good mixture. So I only used that gas mask for one contraction. And other than that, I didn't use nothing. So I did a normal medication birth. <clears throat> um, it was really, really painful. Like, really painful. And then uh, when I was, when the doctor was already ready to let me push, um, like, I guess... It was so strong, like I couldn't stay still, so I kept like going up and going up. Yeah, like could, I just wanted yeah. to get off the bed, and then they were trying to like calm me down, so like I could <clears throat> calmly push and breathe in and all this stuff. But I couldn't, like I just kept moving in, and they're like, "Well, we need to let you like calm down and stuff, cause we can't like let you push like that." Cause I kept getting off the bed, like like going up <laughs> like that. Um. So, I tried to, like, put it in my head, like, I need to, like, calm down, because if not, this pain is never going to finish. And then, Roberta was right next to me, and my mom was, too, and they were, like, trying to calm me down. And then, um, when I was, like, getting the contractions, I had to push, and then I would be hugging Roberto, like, like sideways, because I, I needed to be doing something. And so, I was doing that, and then, um... Yeah, I pushed, and then that's she pushed when... for about she pushed for about fourteen minutes. Yeah, I pushed for fourteen, 14 minutes, minutes and until the baby was out. And the baby was out. <clears throat> she had one. She had a little injury, a first degree. Um, tear. Tear on the left side. So. But other than that, everything went well. Everything was good. Yep. And then after that, well, yeah, she was born at eight thirty eight. I mean, 8.33 in the morning, and I felt like everything went by so quick. Like, after they broke my water, it was just, like, it was crazy how everything just freaking went so quick. But I was pissed at the whole entire freaking room, (laughs) technically. Yeah. All right. Um, So, yeah, that was that, that, all that happened. Yep, all that happened, and now she's about to be two weeks old. Yeah, or we, like we said, we took forever to make this because we're, we're, we've been busy with the kid. Well, no, I've been wanting to edit the video, but it's like, like we're Roberto, tired. I need this, I need help, can you come here? I was like, I mm-hmm. literally can't, I just I just couldn't do that. I was like, mm-mm. Can and then in the right beginning, now? like when we first brought her, I was just so nervous to like, Change your diaper, change, like, do ev- anything, like, carry So, here her. I am, changing so diapers I was, for I was the letting first him do it. four days, pretty much, because she was too scared to do it. Yeah, I was, I just, I was I just was so like, scared what? to grab her. <laughs> but like, now, I'm... She's supposed to be one with a gentle I'm, touch. But I'm getting I mean, used okay. to it. Yeah. Now I change her, now I'm over here. She still needs my help, though. Sometimes. Like, when I'm, when I'm trying to change her diaper, and she has a 
poop or whatever, or whatever. She starts kicking, so then she starts getting it on her feet. <laughs> and that's when yeah. I need help because she just doesn't like getting changed. She, she just starts kicking and kicking, and I'm like, okay, you need to hold her legs while I clean her. Because she just won't let herself. Okay. Well, um, yeah. 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 That's what happened. So, sorry we couldn't record. Like, throughout the whole process, like, the camera died. Um, so, yeah. And then we, I know we could have recorded through our phones, but, like, during the, my contractions and stuff, like, he was right there helping me. So, I, yeah, that's, that's what happened. And I didn't want to be recorded. Yeah. I would have been pissed. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll, we'll keep updating you guys videos you guys will see the baby soon soon maybe for her two weeks <laughs> I mean she's about to be two weeks oh yeah she's about to be two weeks yeah. in two days yeah I mean but we don't know when we're gonna upload this video so she'll probably be more than two weeks <laughs> yeah depends how long it's gonna take yeah cause I, I feel like it's gonna be a pretty long video mhm mm so yeah and so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the pictures i know we didn't record like i said but yeah we had those pictures there for you guys to see okay thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> and yeah like share whatever you want to do and support us oh and there's canela she's sleeping she's though. sleeping though but it's okay i'll wake her up oh she's no she's still there. sleeping she okay <clears throat> Well, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs>